All right, today we're gonna make some Christmas crack. Probably the best crack I've ever had. I constantly crave it. First off, you're gonna start any sort of cookie pan, cookie sheet, big, small, use more if you have more or less. This recipe fills about a regular sized. Line it with tin foil. Spray it down. Vegetable oil. Fill it with saltine crackers. I learned how to make them with these first. I've also tried graham crackers, which is also delicious. I just happen to prefer the little bit of saltiness from the saltines, but it is also really good with graham crackers too. All right, now that you have your crackers prepared, remove over the stove. You're gonna start by melting one cup of butter with one cup of brown sugar. You're gonna cook that butter and sugar mixture until it all dissolves and comes to a slow, tiny boil. Keep mixing the entire time. And you're just gonna keep stirring, checking on it for about three to five minutes until everything becomes to a, a consistent, thick mixture. You can tell that the butter and sugar are no longer separated. Yeah, all right, that's about ready. It's nice and thick, bubbly, everything's dissolved. You don't want to burn it. It's going to go back into the oven, so that looks about good. And take that beautiful caramel mixture, pour it over all your crackers, nice and evenly. Smooth it all around, make sure it's as even as possible, it doesn't need to be perfect. Now you're going to put these in your oven once it's preheated to 400 degrees for about 5 or 6 minutes or so. Alright, after about 5 or 6 minutes in the oven, it should look like this. Caramel's gotten nice and thick. Now you're going to let that cool for a couple minutes, maybe like 3 minutes or so. Just let it cool down, hang out. Alright, so after that's cooled down for a few minutes, we're going to cover the entire top of it with chocolate chips. I prefer the good ones. I like to be generous, but you don't have to overdo it. Yeah, that should be about good. Now you're gonna sit, just let it sit. Let the residual heat start melting the chocolate chips. If you have waited too long and it's too cool, you can throw it back in the warm oven for a few minutes, just start letting stuff warm up. All right, after a minute in the oven or letting it sit, you can see stuff starting to get nice and melty. You're just gonna gently spread everything as evenly as possible. This is such a great quick snack. All in all, this will take you 15 minutes to make. I mean, it's so quick. Delicious. Plenty of it to share. Perfect. All right, now you got your chocolate spread. Put it in the fridge for, oh, 30 minutes to an hour. Let it cool, harden. I know it's hard to resist, just wait. All right, after about 30 minutes to an hour, you'll see everything's nice and solidified. And they're done. And here you can break them, cut them, whatever you want to do. Oh yeah. Look at that, freaking delicious.
and it is. Mm. Super good. Takes two seconds to make. Mm. And it's quite addictive. I, I, I could finish this off in one evening if I could. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your Christmas crack. Thanks for watching.